Hi Gemini, this is your reading for the 4th to the 10th of October 2021. Thank you for all your likes and subscribes and shares and views. You are number three and you are staying in the top three generally. Well done for you. Thank you Gem Gems. I know you. You are a gem. You're my diamond. Okay, the overall energy is the chariot. The chariot means you're going forwards, onwards and upwards, going on to the next level. You are determined to go where you want and it's bringing you success and victory. If you had your eye on a car, then it could be yours. You've also got number seven and number seven, of course, means good luck. Okay, so you could also be going on holiday. Or you could be preparing for a move. This could be the firm or the house. You've also got judgment. Judgment means a new beginning, but it can also mean a second chance. A second chance at an exam, a second chance at putting a relationship or a partnership together. Also, um, with this card, I believe magic has been happening. Miracles haven't left the world yet. It's like that the angel is blowing magical fairy dust all over the city and you are part of that city wow magic magic is in the air okay sorry i shouldn't be doing that and then we go on to monday again you've got recognition for your hard work your determination you have stirred and uh, steered the right way you took charge of your own chariot well done Climbing up from a 7 to an 8. Again, promotions. It could be a wage rise. It could be that if, you, if you're looking for love, somebody's caught your eye, or I mean, you've caught somebody's eye. So there again, there could be new love coming in. Number 8 is the powerhouse and the money house. You are stronger than you think. And look where your strength has got you. You're right on top of the world. The world is your oyster. Yes, you can choose anything. You might be standing for a lot of choices. You, like I said, you could be moving home because of the chariot. Um, also, you could be going on holiday. You might be traveling around the world. Um, you might be working on the web. You might have a business um, at home. Look at this. You've got all the, like the um, star light. Um, here she's depicted like in a holy light a divine light with all the candles and what she needs around her and she's right at the center of attention and that is what i feel with the world as well again the fairy dust the stars are sprinkling around her and she's balanced she's dancing in the air now i said you could be working on the web you could be working from home yes definitely you could also be doing 50-50. You could be working part-time at a firm and part-time at home. You could be moving home. This is the move card, the holiday card. Something's coming around full circle and ending to difficulties, new beginnings. And you will have what you need because you've got the pay rise or the promotion, recognition. Clients want to have more of your stuff that you're selling. They want your service because you are a real person that knows what customer service means. You can talk through um, like, well, you are Gemini. You can talk like sweet nothings, but you can also be direct and precise, but in a nice um, inter intonation of the voice. And people, um, they love that. They really love it. When you talk calm and when you talk sweet, like a gentle voice, like when you're nursing demented elderly, I used to do that. And then you talk gently but loudly because they are hard of hearing, but they it's like soothing, you know, when somebody talks with love and clarity in their voice. You're like no other uh, zodiac sign that communicates like you do. You can sell with even out seeing people you can sell you can sell on the web and especially if you believe in what you sell 
you can sell it because you've used it. You believe in it. You have a passion for it. Wow. And you're really getting known around the globe. Definitely. Wow. Magic. Okay. You could be dealing or you could have a partner that is a Taurus, um, a Leo, Scorpio or an Aquarius. Okay. Gemini, I love this card. You, um, it, it looks like if you've risen out of the, the earth. Look, half the earth is cut. And I'm getting an idea rising out of the earth. It's like sprouting, like a little seed is popping out of the ground and boom, there are the two leaves and then four leaves and then eight leaves. Wow. The world is seeing you. Definitely. You have victory. Karma is coming back to you threefold. Okay. Um, because if you've done good or if you've done bad, um, that means karma is coming back. If somebody's done it to you, they'll get their karma. Believe you, me. Okay? Now my camera is not right, but I'll leave it like that. <laughs> okay. Um, also, you have the six. So you're coming up three steps already. Six, seven, eight. Now, have we got a nine somewhere? Um, no, we do have uh, 11. Okay. That's the angelic doorway. No, we don't have a nine. But something is coming around full circle. So there is a new beginning and the world is your oyster. You're being seen for your hard work. And I feel justice will be done as well. Because look at her. She's got two balls and she's balancing. So that's the card of justice to me. Justice will be done. Victory. Six of wands. You've been away. And people didn't notice you. That could be, you, you physically might not have been away, but you're being noticed. You're back and you're back big. Okay, the six of wands means also like the chariot, going on to the next level in work, career, in romance, in, wow, in life generally. You've got victory. Finally, you've reached your goal. You've got victory. Wow, everybody wants is giving you recognition. And usually you see people cheering on the six of wands, hailing you in. Okay, now this is the crown of the victor. And that's the staff that he is carrying. Now, we've got hands in the distance. Like the, the mystical dust uh, uh, droplets here. You've got, look at this, if you can, I hope you can see it, it catches up. It's the hands. People want to see you and they love your energy and they want to grab you. Um, they, you might be, people are demanding your attention. That is what I'm um, seeing, okay? You're in the spotlight. Wow. Like I said, you've got recognition. You're in the spotlight. You're the victory. Wow. You've also got the knight of cups and you're in balance six is balance you've got uh, 21 here 21 one and two is three so you are productive you are creative you've created your own success now the knight of cups that could be cancer scorpio or pisces um, you could be meeting or dealing with one of them, prominently Scorpio, because he was on the uh, um, world card as well. So again, you could be getting a lot, uh, an offer of love. Definitely, you will be getting news, something that you're passionate about. She's holding a heart here, okay? But the heart also feels. So use, open your heart, open your solar plex, open your mind to new ideas that everything is possible you will have success don't get negative on me reset that button to positivity change your mindset if you're depressed you've got no reason to be depressed with such a reading money could be coming to you money big time because you've got the king of pentacles taurus again again taurus was in the world card and he's sitting down on his laurels, 
But at this moment, he's taking a pause because he's contemplating on what he's going to do next. If you've got such beautiful victory and recognition all over the place, um, what are you going to do? Are you going, can you cope alone? Are you going to seek help? Are you going to hire help? Boom. I would say, I think you're going to seek advice. Why? Because we've got the justice card here. So that could be representing institutions, um, legal institutions or authorities, and also the emperor. And you could be seeking advice from a bookkeeper, from a, an, an advocate. Um, you might be signing contracts like the house, moving, 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 moving business. You might be buying two things, but you have to find out whether you can. And if your money is going to keep on rolling in, because you want to keep something for a rainy day, especially after um, the two last two years with the lockdowns, people are going bankrupt. Perhaps you might be picking up two properties uh, for the price of one. And you you can flip it and then sell it and make more money. But you want to keep some money for the, a rainy day, something behind you. Okay. You know how to invest and if you don't you seek knowledge and you do your research before you do invest like the king of pentacles so you've not not dealing or meeting up with one of them you might be taking a page out of his books you have learned from him this could have been a teacher or somebody a father figure or somebody mature that you respected and they've taught you they've advised you so you might be popping back, although that is on Friday. We also see the Justice card. This could be Libra and the Emperor is Aries. So perhaps you might have started something in Aries and Taurus time. And now it's coming to fruition in Libra time. You finally are harvesting your investment. Wow. Okay. Again, justice means... Justice will be done. Balance is back. Self-assuredness, definitely. If you're on a legal procedure or in a, in a judicial situation, justice will be done. The money is going to roll in. With these two cards, as three cards as recognition, the justice or the legal system or the official system recognizes your arguments. And they put you in the right or they give you the right you don't have anything to worry about you've got the page of wands this could be um for, for example a claim because you had an accident at work and you took your work to the arbitration the union or the the, the courts and you had an, a lawyer an advocate this could be a libra this could be an aries they're pretty dynamic. They go for what they want. Especially Libra, because he stands for truth and justice, transparency and clarity. Uh, transparency and clearness. Okay. Clarification. Clear. Yeah. He wants the court to clarify what went wrong and why you've got the recognition you are the winner you've got victory you've also got number 11 a new beginning the angelic doorway wow again a second chance new beginning you've got a second chance you've a second chance perhaps in the same firm perhaps you worked and you had an accident and you couldn't you cannot walk uh, you're in a wheelchair, so this could be damage claims, but they refuse to take you back. They have to take you back. The court will decide that they will have to adapt your workplace to a wheelchair or give you another work. Well, let's see what the clarification cards are going to say. Okay, because now I'm going to use my third favorite deck. And there's another one, the Everyday Enchanted Terror. That's also a favorite deck of mine. 
because they look a lot like these drawings. And these are pictures. Again, we've got the Knight of Cups on the 8. So you're going up from 8 to 9. And wow, the Knight of Cups brings in an offer. This You've got it twice. Again, so there could be more offers than one. People are demanding your attention because you have persevered. You um, have carried on through thick and thin because you are also an air sign and you stand for transparency, clarity and honesty. You don't give up so quickly, Gemini. I know that because I am a Gemini. I'll never give up. Once I bite into something and I believe in somebody, I will protect them and fight for them or on their behalf. You've also got the two swords. What are you not seeing? Are you not seeing that somebody loves you and that is true? This could be a new person or perhaps a person that you were partnered up with and you left. You got a divorce. This could be the divorce. So there could be a second chance after a divorce. Okay. Open your heart, like I said. Open your heart, open your mind. Okay. You also have the Ten of Wands. You might have been going through material difficult uh, time. Okay. A time that things were hard, but don't worry, it will be all right. The Ten is an ending and is a new beginning. Fin finance is going to come in, work is going to come in, recognition is going to come in. You also have the Ten of Swords. Well, it can't get any worse than that. You've got the Ten of Wands. Start delegating work. Ask help. Okay. If you want to branch out, you can see branches here, then ask for help. Okay. The Ten of Swords. If somebody has been... Nasty to you, like the karma card here. If some, if the friendship is being cut away, if you have been divorced, there could be a recognition, like I said. But if somebody's been unfaithful, or stabbed you in the back, and it's been really a dreadful divorce, do you want to take somebody back that you fought so hard for um, to get separated from? Think twice. Think twice. Don't be blind. Here you've got wearing a blindfold. So don't be blind. You've closed your heart. You have to open up your heart to new love. New love is definitely coming in. You've got the justice of the peace. You've got the church, the priest. Oh no, that's the emperor. But he does have the same meaning as the emperor. He can also marry people. He can also be the judge of the peace. So you've got marriage card here. Um, marriage card, marriage card, marriage, institutions, second chance, I can't say it enough. Be careful who you trust. That is also a voice. Be careful of who you trust. Make sure they are talking with a golden tongue, not with a double tongue or a split tongue. This is what is being said to me by a man, okay? Boom, could be your father or grandfather. Don't listen to a split tongue. Somebody's talking with two tongues, okay? Now I'm going to take these two because they dropped out. And it is the three fates. The three fates. And you've got the Eight of Wands. So again, Eight of Wands, news. Things are happening all at once. It's getting a bit dark, hold on. Well, I'm sorry about that. I just got the lights, so there you go. So you can see the colours, you can see the cards. The Three Fates means the Wheel of Fortune. It's number 10. Oh, number, the, the Wheel of Fortune, that's the... Uh, the card of the overall energy uh, line, okay? So again, confirming you um, that, uh, like the world, success, dealing with Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, coming around full circle, circle, karma is 
coming towards you and things will happen very fast and all at once. You could be moving home, you could be um, moving your firm, you could be going on holiday. Things are coming together, definitely. You, um, you've got recognition. I think this person that stabbed you in the back wants to come back because they realize how strong they are. They are missing you. But is it worth your while to bring in something that you don't need? Okay? Don't. They might phone you. This news could come through text message, telephone call, or um, an email. There you go. If you look at this, I love this card, because it's like an angel is reaching out and holding on to you. And like I said, the divine has your back. You won't fall. Don't believe everything everybody says, okay? Make sure that if you want to reconcile, that it's done on proper grounds. Make a good foundation. Seek a marriage guidance counsellor, an advocate, sign, get legal documents stating what your rights are. Like you might have gone through the divorce and you didn't get any money. You didn't get child allowance. Put it down now before you want to start living together again or joining up. Get it down on paper. Protect yourself. Take care of number one. Then you can take care of somebody else. I'm using the mystical um, unicorn deck. A new beginning is here. Seize it and every chance it gives you. How beautiful is that? And the sun is breaking through. Well, yes, our time has been dark, um, Gemini. We all... I, and doesn't matter who I watch on YouTube, the Geminis are, their heart is hurt. They've got mental scars. Yes, now I can understand why I said that. That's why it flipped out. Okay, somebody had to hear that. You're not the only gentle Gemini that has mental um, scars. And those are the scars that you don't see, um, but will always remain there. Work through them. It will make you stronger. You've come out. Now you've come so far and you're going to come out stronger. And people are going to be ah, in ah with you. Don't give up. All right, my darling. Anybody. Look at this. The power of three. And I'm going on about these angels here. Power of three. The divine. Uh, number 11. What was the other one? The doorway. There was an ace somewhere, wasn't there? No, I thought that was. Sorry. No, the cosmos. Like I said, the stars and the divine. Angelic dust. Okay. Is the angels telling you that they're here? Now, you've got one, uh, let's have a look. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with um, a Sagittarius, because the Page of Wands. Um, Cancer, all the Knights of, uh, of Cups. You've also got the um, Knight of Cups twice. Again, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or uh, Aquarius. Aries, Libra. Again, uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Pisces. My darlings, the time is breaking through. We're going to a better future, definitely. Now, the feather that you have is also reminding me your scars. Okay, carry them with pride. Everything was, the white bit is coming to an end. The light is coming through. The divine is at work. Purple is spirituality. For me, anyway. Okay. 
you've got the blue J. The time is right to access the master your and master your abilities. Do so with you, uh, hum, humility and control. Humility, humility and control. Be humble. Okay. Look at all the recognition you're getting. People will be demanding. Set your boundaries. Let them know your boundaries. And the best sentence of all is the shortest sentence. No. Okay. Learn to say no. Take care of yourself, Gemini. I hope you've loved this reading. Please like and share. You are my diamond. Like I said, big hugs and big kisses. Take care. Love you.